Sanya, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today I am going to show you how users can add their own security group to their AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment. Let's get started. Let's log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. From the navigation pane on the left, choose Security Groups. Note the pre-existing security group that you want to add to your Elastic Beanstalk environment. If the security group doesn't exist, create one. By default, Elastic Beanstalk creates a security group for your environment. But you can also add your own security group to your environment. To do this, we'll use EB extensions. Now let's open the application source bundle on your local system. Create a directory named EB extensions in the root of the application source bundle if not already created. For more information on EB extensions, see the documentation in the Associated Knowledge Center article. In the EB extensions directory, create a file named securitygroup.config. Make sure if your instances are launched within a virtual private cloud, you specify security group IDs instead of security group names. Your custom security group should belong to the same VPC where your Elastic Beanstalk environment resides. Let's add the option settings. Now, compress the code and then deploy it using Elastic Beanstalk console or the Elastic Beanstalk command line. After the deployment is successful, the security group is attached to your EC2 instances. The environment is now successfully using your existing security group that you have attached through EB extensions in addition to the default security group. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.